it is a general reading guys this may or may not resonate with every libra watching this video some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped so feel free to switch those energies vice versa um time is fluid you could have dealt with this energy are dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future okay if you do need a personal reading all that information is going to be down below eight of pentacles you probably want to work on this connection with the eight of pentacles okay i think you're stuck on this person here with the six of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck here um again libra if i'm doing your feelings okay but this could very well be the person you're dealing with and the other side could be you okay so take it how it resonates but there is definitely here libra that you want to work on a relationship you definitely you're obsessing over it okay you will do anything to make it work out because you're so fucking stuck on this person okay maybe this was someone who does who probably did not give a shit before okay about working on this and now they really want to okay could be dealing with someone who tried to walk away from the relationship or you walked away from the relationship either you couldn't walk away and you're coming back or you just um try to walk away but you're returning okay give me more about libra's feelings give me more on libra's feelings please two many balls two of cups see libra you definitely want this relationship but it's the two of cups right so yeah this is a very mutual energy okay the both of you are really really love each other okay the two of cups is also a soulmate energy okay that was really really good the two of cups is also a soulmate energy all right so yeah there is mutual love here you want this person you want to be with this person but yeah two of cups is also the card of commitment okay also the cup see this wanted to come out ten of cups i'm gonna take it you want your happily ever after i have a very strong feeling libra i'm creating for the cross watcher but however take it how it resonates okay so yeah you want this happy happily ever after with this person and now you're ready to work on this relationship okay maybe in the past you weren't ready to put in your efforts you weren't ready for commitment you weren't ready for this happily ever after for this with this person but now you see them as your end all be all okay give me more for libra's feelings for the person they're dealing with now two of cups ten of cups that looks like marriage to me seriously tower here there's been a sudden realization like an epiphany okay um <clears throat> the tower could be there could have been a tower moment between you guys there could have been a breakup a shake up okay something where i've completely shaken up your relationship okay the tower usually comes in when uh, the universe gives you a lot of uh, red flags okay and you choose to ignore it instead of acknowledging it okay instead of um, trying to figure out what the real issue is it could also mean sometimes that you know like your relationship is not built on a concrete foundation and this is something that you really really need to take into consideration but you refuse to do it because you probably wanted to go with the flow or you were like you know what nah, if it's all going okay then i'm okay right i mean i'm getting more like to make a change it's it was outside your comfort zone and you were okay with going with things going the way it was okay and because you didn't do anything about it the universe had to intervene and there was a tabo moment okay but yeah with the tabo moment does only mean a shake up or a break up it also means an epiphany a realization aha moment and that that's exactly what you have libra in your feelings give me a knock off for libra's feelings give me one knock off for libra's feelings card flip give me one more card for libra's feelings queen of swords this wanted to come out uh, when i was space shuffling right see libra uh but you look i mean i think you're absolutely ready to communicate with this person okay with the queen of swords here yeah, because with the nine of swords here yeah, i think you're stressing a lot about this person this person is on your mind on a very constant basis okay i don't think you can get over this person anymore again like i'm saying you try to walk away from this person but i don't think you were quite successful in doing so okay now you want to come back to this person and with the queen of swords yeah, i think you want candid communication you want honest communication and you're ready to open up you're ready to talk to this person and tell this person exactly what you've been going through and tell this person exactly what you want with this person all right let's do the feelings of the person that libra is dealing with Alright, spirit guides, it is yours. You know, Libra, I'm getting that. You know, probably you weren't putting effort before in this relationship, okay? But there was this tower moment was literally needed, okay? I'm getting there could have been one person who was doing all the work. There could have been someone who was trying to run away from commitment, okay? And now this person is coming back. 
someone is coming back and wanting to work on a relationship okay this is someone who wants to put in their all they want to put in their every inch that they have uh, to make this relationship work out it could also be Libra that you see this other person as the queen of swords here where it's like you know what no nonsense no bullshit queen okay but this could also be you that this is your approach this time okay like you know what I don't want no bullshit this is what I want and I'm very clear about it and what you want is marriage kids you want the hamster you want the dog you want everything all right <clears throat> give me the feelings of the person that Libra is dealing with in love Give me the feelings of the person that Libra is dealing with in love. The person you're dealing with, King of Wands. You're dealing with someone who is very, very passionate about you. Very passionate about you. This could also be someone who wants you to take action. Okay? The King of Wands is a go-getter. Okay? But I don't know. Somehow, um... <sighs> Give me more... The King of Wands is someone very, very confident, okay? This could also be an entrepreneur that you're dealing with, okay? Someone who's very focused on their business. But at the same time, this is someone very decisive, okay? They have a lot of confidence. They know what they want and they get it, okay? So, yeah, this is someone who you can't really budge. They have a mind of their own. Uh, give me more cards for the feelings of the person that Libra is dealing with in love. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person uh, probably was a little wishy-washy in the past, okay? This person could have had you um, in a situation where they were juggling two people or they were just juggling a decision of whether they wanted to be with you or not or whether they wanted to be in this relationship or not. I think with the Two of Pentacles in reverse here, uh, they've dropped one thing, okay? But I think they're being more decisive right now with the Two of Pentacles in reverse here. Five of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, see, that's what I'm getting. That's why I wanted to um, clarify more cards. King of Wands. This King of Wands doesn't look like it's coming towards you, Libra. I feel this person is moving away from you. I'm getting like you're coming in with this approach of, you know what, I want you. I want to marry you. I love you. I want this relationship. I realize, you know, that I want, uh, I mean, this is what I always wanted. And it took this entire type of moment. It took for you to walk away from this mind games with the five of swords and traverse here. It took for you to walk away and drop this person, okay? Um... You could have tried to balance out the situation with this person. You could have literally, you know, been, I'm getting, you could have literally been the only one carrying out the entire load of this relationship, okay? I'm sorry, guys. Message is being downloaded. But, uh, yeah, now this person doesn't really give a fuck to you, Libra. Okay, like I said, switch the sides, all right? So don't come and saying, oh, that's on me, that's the other person. Well, then, okay, that's how it is. But yeah, Libra, this person that you're dealing with, right, they're not looking at you. I think they're looking away. They're looking, um, it's almost like I'm getting like, you know what, I don't give a fuck to Libra anymore. And I'm just going to do what makes me happy. More than makes me happy, this is someone, you know what, I'm going to take action towards something that uh, I'm very passionate about. I'm a go-getter and I'm going to go get what I want, okay? This could be someone who you're dealing with who, again, is a businessman or someone who's very, very focused on themselves, okay? Focused on their work, their career, their goals, etc. But again, this person could have been very unsure about you for a very long time because probably you could have been in a loop with this person this person could have kept you in a loop okay could have given you a lot of emotional baits to keep you within the relationship but finally you made uh, this person has made their choice okay this person has made their choice and their choice is to drop you libra because they're walking away they could have been a lot of mind games a lot of mind fuckery going on okay this person clearly does not want a reconciliation with the five of swords in reverse here i don't think so this person is moving forward with the four of cups in reverse here they're moving out of that isolation mode they're moving out of that feeling of being rejected this person could have felt very rejected by you maybe this person could have given you a lot of offers to be with this person okay into a relationship and a commitment or take this um uh, relationship situation connection to a high level of commitment but libra you could have refused for a very long time and now this person is walking away there could have been serious conflicts between you guys or like a lot of communication issues okay every single time you would try to express your feelings or express um your um your issue with where the relationship was going or every single time you wanted to know where the relationship was heading probably this person just shunned you away and they really didn't have uh, I'll give you a chance to open up, okay? I'm getting someone who is trying to escape this relationship, okay? But now they're walking away. They're coming out of that isolation mode, okay? They're, because they probably feel that if they're going to stick in that isolation mode, they're not being able to see other opportunities, okay? That's why Four of Cups in reverse here, they're wanting to keep you as a missed opportunity. Maybe they're okay with you being the one who got away. Maybe they saw a lot of potential with you once, but now they're like, nah, that's fine. 
it is what it is. They're choosing to keep you as a missed opportunity, Libra. Give me more uh, cards for the feelings of this person that Libra is dealing with in love. See, judgment. They're making a final call. This person is holding back. Knight of Swords in reverse here. They're making a final call here. Um, give me one more card for the person that Libra is dealing with in love. So many cards, but okay. We got the Devil in Reverse, Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups in Reverse. I'm not going to take it, but I'm still going to read it out for you. Um, what I'm getting is that Libra, this person is releasing themselves from a very, very toxic situation, okay? They could have felt very stuck, tied, and bound to you for a very long time. Maybe they felt that they could never get rid of this relationship. Maybe they would, they thought, or maybe you were literally trying to control them, okay? They saw you as someone very toxic and someone who they didn't see growth with, okay? They just saw you as someone who was um, trying to keep, uh, you know, constantly um, trying to keep them in that energy, okay? Trying to keep them. Uh, it's almost like I'm getting like they literally thought that you were controlling them. I'm getting someone who was very egoistic also. But yeah, this is an energy of where, you know what, like, out, I'm free. Okay, so they've released themselves from this situation, okay? And I think uh, they say you was wanting to communicate with them with a the page of pentacles and eight of wands here, okay? You probably have even tried to make attempts to approach this person with an apology, with waving the white flag. You want a reconciliation. Um, you want to make things right, okay? And with eight of wands, you probably want to communicate with this person, okay? But I don't see this person interested in you anymore because they're holding a grudge against you with the six of cups in reverse here. This is someone who's holding a grudge against you, okay? I don't think this person is interested. Whatever happened in the past, they're not being able to forgive or forget. Something really, really happened bad, okay? I mean, something really, really um, got to them. Maybe they don't really expect you to behave the way that you did. This person was expecting a lot from you, okay? I think they literally expected the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups with you a while back. And that was the time when they were putting in all the effort. I'm, I'm getting like the tables have turned. And because I'm getting this person as all like walking away. I'm walking away proudly. Not even walking away sadly. King of Wands. They're very proud of what they're doing. They're very confident. Okay. Not egoistic but very confident. Like yeah I'm doing the right thing. You know. Give me one more card for this person's feelings. Ten of Pentacles. I think that I, I I think I, I don't think this ten of pentacles is with you, uh, Libra. I don't think this is what they're looking for you with you, okay? Because with the seven of wands in reverse here, I think this person could have fought for this relationship for a very long time, okay? The seven of wands is not the energy of them trying to uh, fight other people. It's literally a person who's trying to stand up on their own and trying to stand for what they believe is right. I'm literally getting this person could have tried to you know like um, uh, protect this relationship from. Um, a lot of people or try to, you know, like literally hold on to the ropes, you know, literally hold on to the relationship. Like, no, I'm going to fight for this. No, this is going to be okay. You know, even if you were not an active participant in this relationship, okay. But now this person has made a final decision and their final decision is with the judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. I think this person is going to move on and this person is wanting to make a final decision and moving towards the Ten of Pentacles, okay. This does not really look to me like they're moving towards you. It, mo it, it, mo it looks to me like they're moving towards their stability seriously i don't get it they're moving towards their stability i don't think this is a second chance here the seven of wands we have the moon here look this person you could have always kept this person in the dark or this person was always in the dark about where this relationship was heading they had literally no clue and you know it's like that unknown energy like i don't know where this is heading i don't i have no clue you could have kept uh, very quiet about your relationship quiet about your feelings for this person even if you wanted something committed you probably choose to keep quiet and suppress your feelings or you just choose to uh, not show this person the side of you that they always wanted to see okay with a moon here this person always there was always like the sense of uncertainty around this connection okay which they feel okay and that's why now they're giving up ten of wands in reverse here nine of see look they're all in the reverse where they're like giving up they're tired fed up they're like the wounded warrior beaten wounded tired frustrated exhausted they're done they have no fight left ten of wands in reverse they're laying off the situation because they literally felt like they they felt unsupported in this relationship like I said before, right, this is someone who always felt like they were the one who did everything in the relationship and they got no support from you. 
yeah this person is giving up on you i don't think this person is going to fight for you anymore okay i think you're chasing them now that's what i'm getting libra again i'm getting a lot of this is going to be a cross watcher reading but yeah it is what it is okay so yeah that's what i have for you libra they're going to chase you now that you're letting go and now that you make a final decision of not giving a fuck they're coming back they're coming back with that ten of cups and the two of cups they're ready to work on this they have had this realization okay they're ready to come in and talk they don't mean no bullshit this time okay they're very serious about you they mean business so yeah libra that's what i have for you uh take that resonate take that how it resonates flip the size if you wish to and that's what i have for you okay i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye -bye.